heroin like no other. Oh, we've seen so many games featuring orthodox nuns. Indica is just another one. Patient and humble to a fault, do you think that her adventures after leaving the monastery could be entertaining in some way? I sincerely think not. Why would someone want to play Indica? Is a game about a nun that fascinating? All those themes of self-discovery, religion, breaking the authority, I mean, who does that anymore? An unconventional friend? A nun talking to the devil, you say? <laughs> Is that even possible? Indica spends her time praying. She has no time for sinful thoughts. Would she even dare to speak with evil incarnate? <laughs> Doubtful if you ask me. The alternative 19th century Russia. Tolstoy and Dostoyevsky must be turning in their graves. Can you tell a meaningful story in such a bizarre setting? Just look at it. The architecture, the atmosphere. Abomination is the kindest word I can find. <coughs> a gallery of weird characters. Indica is on a mission from God. Do you think she has time to stop by and make new acquaintances? Anyway, I'm quite sure that the people she meets are helpful and respectful. Even animals love Indica. Quiet, quiet little doggy. We won't hurt you. A dark sense of humor? Oh, that's exactly what people need. Something dark and twisted when their lives are as miserable as they are. Let's play something fun, colorful. Besides, when was the last time the dark sense of humor in a video game was actually dark? Reflection on authority. You may wonder what this game is about. Bring some water. Authority is not interesting enough to be concerned about. Just do what they told you, no questions asked. Come on, chop chop. Explore, solve puzzles. A fascinating and bizarre world to uncover. If I got a kapeka for every time someone said that to me, I'd be a millionaire. Puzzles can't be that hard to solve, can they? A complex faith system. Oh, finally, something worthwhile. So you're saying that Indica gains faith points through her deeds. Marvelous. But this should be popular, especially among young people. <laughs> I do wonder what these points give you. I hope it's nothing sinful. An unconventional soundtrack. Oh, if you make something that's set in 19th century Russia, at least the music should fit. Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff. Serva, he's a guitarist. If they don't use at least one of their scores. Oh, oh, listen. Do you hear that? Dear. Visuals that will make your eyes pop. I'm sorry, did I miss something? We were talking about Indica. Wasn't this supposed to be a 3D third-person game? Oh, I clearly missed one D here, if you know what I mean. Heavens, this is one hell of a strange game.